What is going on guys? Wiser here. I'm coming to you with a recap of the one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was our range matchup against the fine ladies and gentlemen over at Power COC. Uh, actually have some uh, some good friends there, you know, some guys that uh, used to be in the 2.0 family, um, some guys that actually got... Um, kind of involved with Invicta around the same time, kind of that kind of, that sort of story, but uh, some some really cool peeps over there. Now, unfortunately for Power COC, I think we, we definitely caught him on a bad day. Um, no discredit 2.0 because we actually had a very flawless war for ourselves, and uh, we were really, really happy with uh, our, uh, our efforts. Um, you know, and, and the score definitely does not dictate... Uh, the quality guys of Power COC by any means because they are just beasts. I've seen them put up some serious scores against some really top tier clans, a lot better uh, <laughs> than that are in a lot better positions than we are. Anyhow, uh, we absolutely dominated this war. Just flawless victory, right? Um, let's just take a look quickly at Power COC. Now, the, the difference really was the tens. They didn't have the ability to use as many attacks on the Town Hall 10s and get those cleaned up because they had to use a lot of dips on the 9s. And that's just really what it came down to. Um, they did clear up the 9s finally, um, but that ended up being their ultimate demise. Uh, and 2.0 did a really good job. You know, Burt Dog stepping up, Salty getting these two stars. We did have to use one of Unique's hits on number three there, but uh, QC getting in there. And then Bully, 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 all successful uh, you know, our Town Hall 11s were just superstars, just absolutely dominating their 10s. <clears throat> Even have a Town Hall 10 versus 10 to show you in there, so that's always nice to see as well. Uh, and then just really just awesome job of the 9s. Set up our, the top half of the map, had to use no bullies whatsoever. Uh, really good job overall. So just have, I got a lot of replays, so I'm just going to jump right in here. This is Nammer's going in on number 30. <clears throat> so kind of a little bit of a theme, not all the attacks, but quite a few of the attacks. Um, I think all the attacks have some sort of air in them, except for the avalanche attack. And um, a lot of them are these sort of newer hybrid Goval, uh, Goval, Govalalos or Govalos with Queen Walks, some of them, with Zapquake, some of them. So uh, this one, for example, is basically not bringing any tank troops, just the Queen and the healers. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and take out this big section of base, pull out the CC troops has created this insanely large funnel basically from 10 all the way to three o'clock. Get this queen going in on the base, throw that hoggy in there, get the CC yanked out to her. So it comes, bunch of minions, right? Early, early poison, good job with that. Get skeleton trap at the same time too, so good value there. Couple loons aren't even gonna make it to her. Second poison goes down to ensure that. So finally the minions are gonna get taken down here. Queen's just going to do her thing, and he's just going to go ahead and drop these Valkyries in, drop that CC with the Wall Breakers ahead, and in come all these Valkyries. Now, the idea here is, see the jump placement? doesn't want anything straight up. He wants it all going. He basically targets these two air defense in the court. Now, drops these three hogs here. The Tesla does pop, they, but they get the they get the air defense. That, that's all that matters, right? They do trigger a bomb, but no big deal, whatever. rest of this attack is air. It's all about the balloons at this point. They're basically the defensive queen and that last air defense that just went down now. In, he's got balloons already helping these Valkyries out all around the base. Defensive queen down. Doesn't stand a chance. Really good job there. Just kind of reading how many air defense you were going to end up getting and uh, what back end units to choose because loons were absolutely perfect. Hammers with the tree star. Beauty, beauty. All right, hopping on up a few here. We got Robbie. Going in on number 25. Look at the army comp though. Very similar, right? This time Rob brings golems. Now the difference is difference is, is the healers to the golems, but the, it's the same thing. Look, he's creating a funnel from ten down to three, using the two golems instead of a healers and minions. Um, once the funnel's created, he's just gonna drop. He ends up dropping these wall breakers that kind of go funky. I think he meant to open up both compartments, but the ones on the right side here give him a little bit of trouble. But whatever, no big deal. 
<clears throat> so the wall doesn't quite get opened up, but he's going to drop all his Valkyries now, and now that the Golems have routed in a little bit here. You have to let the Golems get ahead, do a little bit of tanking here. All the Valks are now just going to kind of funnel down this super long compartment. Poison Spell goes down, going to take care of these minions. Baby Dragon comes out as well. Would like to get that Queen over there to take care of that Baby Dragon, but it does have the Wizard in there. Two Wizards actually targeting that, so no big deal. It's going to continue to move. Air Defense number one is now taken down. Uh, everything kind of strays over to this... Um, Tesla farm, but this perfect, right? It's got Valks and the King in there tanking. The Queen gets right in on top of that. Even drops a balloon to take out that the backside Tesla. Starts to sprinkle in a few balloons here. He's got Valks headed on over to the Queen chamber there. <clears throat> Defensive heroes are now dead, right? He's got so much health on these uh, Valkyries left, right? There is this one up here, but it almost got killed. I don't know if you saw a little earlier. There was a wizard here attacking this... Uh, this one, so the queen, as soon as the queen gets up there, just one little shot, like you sneeze on this thing, and boom, it's down. All four are down. Balloons coming in from everywhere. He's even got five in the bag, plus a wizard. Just absolutely smashed it, Robbie. Nice job, bud. It's tree stars in the bag. Beautiful. And 21, good old lime going in here. Same style attack. <clears throat> Only difference is we're going to bring a Lava Hound. He's got two Golems in here, just going to create a nice large funnel. Has six Valkyries. Um, and the goal of these Valkyries is basically just to get these two air defense. He opts for the two Lava Hounds, knowing that he can kind of quickly target both of these air defense. Um, if done properly and uh, as long as this stuff goes down with the defensive queen on this side of the base he's a-okay so everything's looking good right queen's getting in under that rage has to pop the ability to lose the aggro off that expo uh so she can start doing work on those cc troops double poisons down gonna take care of a lot of those minions very quickly just need to stand there for one more second and down they all go Defensive Queen is dead. Both those air defense are down, so he can now commence with his air attack. A couple balloons sprinkled in on the Queen Chamber there. Just going to kind of protect the uh, kill squad a little bit. <clears throat> and any second now, in are going to come these two Lava Hounds. Here comes number one. Raid in. Quick balloon droppings on that. I like that. Second Hound is now in. More balloons. Just going to basically has to work the balloons from 9 down to 6 o'clock, and he's going to be A-OK. -okay. Keeps two in the bag. Just because he wants to wait until everything finally takes down this air defense. And once the, the, the remaining hound moves down to the 6 o'clock air defense, he's going to drop the two balloons on the back end archer tower here. Expo is grounded, so no big deal there. Uh, all, all that matters from this point is that the air defense goes down. And if there go those two balloons, everything's converging on it. And right as the hound bursts, <laughs> boom, see you later. A little bit of trash. Might have been close on time on this one because a lot of high hit point stuff up there but just still quite a few pops and loons working in nice job bro uh lime it's tree in the bag we really like that attack um 19 homie this is the avalanche attack i was talking about <clears throat> This guy clearly doesn't watch my videos because I always talk about these kind of bases. <clears throat> just these open concept bases. I find they're just too predictable. Um, I guess that's probably the only way to say it. Um, and because of the predictability of pathing, you can really abuse that. So with this avalanche attack, well, there's no defenses to yank the golems this way, right? So you know starting from where he did there's only one direction for them to go right in this v-shape down to six and back up so knowing that you can just feed golems in let them do tanking reinforce with another golem and keep just dropping wizards in behind queen's in there right just getting good tanking there's nothing on the flank for her to even worry about and in fact once all this stuff goes down the queen even steps up and takes out the defensive queen all on her own so just very predictable base here. Jump spells are down, right? Just got to work through that expo. Get these golems to move on over to that 6 o'clock chamber. Don't want that king getting too, too far ahead. He's going to have to go ahead and drop a golem. There it is. Down on this mortar over here. He's got another jump spell. He's going to just drop right over top of all this stuff. And he still has one golem and six wizards in the bag here. So here's this queen. Boom. Oh, high defensive queen. Let's just pop that ability. See you later. 
<clears throat> she's going to continue to work and just kind of still create this funnel just keep everything moving in the same direction this counterclockwise direction back up to three o'clock in goes that last goal like i was talking about still is that one jump spell he's about to drop there it goes let everything in to that last remaining compartment just needs to work through the rest of this stuff and it's gg this avalanche attack is so patient i don't know if i have the patience for it <laughs> But uh, definitely on these predictable bases, it is very, very, very effective. It's tree in the bag for homie. Nice job, man. Okay. What about the chains? A little more. Checking out Jacob. Jacob just went to 10. So probably one of his last Town Hall 9 hits I ever show. <clears throat> like, literally just went up to 10. Uh, but the same idea here, right? Like, um, it just the open concept of how you can just walk a queen right in here she's going to get a ton of point defense she's going to get the defensive queen she's going to get the air defense the defensive king and the clan castle and it's just it's just too much i mean i don't know it does not cost a lot of walls even just to, to close that off and make it a little trickier force a few extra troops invested or something i don't know just a thought anyhow down goes that defensive queen gonna just walk right in here as soon as that gold storage goes down down it goes down goes the cannon she's gonna walk right in take out that king and then out comes that cc <clears throat> so poison goes down just slow down that king not really for the golem by any means and slow it down just wants to take out the king before the golem gets there she's gonna get stuck a little bit but it doesn't really matter as soon as the golem goes down she's gonna target that uh army camp and then target that air defense i might have ugh. He suicides the king in here. I don't know if that was the wisest choice. I would have just dropped it here. Like, everything's targeting up. I would have dropped it on the outside here to maybe do cleanup. Uh, you know all these defenses are going to be dead. So the king's just going to walk free all the way down and do whatever he wants down there. But anyhow, whatever. How do you critique that? Haste bell goes down, letting everything in right away, right on top of this crazy, crazy value compartment right there. Boom, balloons is smashing through that stuff. Hounds are in right on top of that air defense. Only has that air defense up at 2 o'clock to worry about really at this point. A couple more reinforcement balloons coming in. Haste spells down all over the base. Throws those balloons right in on top of the uh, arch tower as soon as possible. Everything just like just so much stuff. The hound burst at the perfect time there. Boom. Just smash this base, Jacob. Nice job, buddy. Okie doke. Couple more here for you. 14, Zed Bear. So, this was a cleanup attack. This was actually a third cleanup attempt. I did the second cleanup attempt and failed miserably. Now, there's Teslas here and here and a DGB there. Now, I wanted to get the queen to walk into this long, large compartment. Because if I could do that, She's going to walk in and just have access to the whole base, almost. Um, now, to do that, I kind of wanted to charge her in. Now, I had I had an attack to go by, and he charged from the top, but I ended up just walking it around, and it was kind of very strange how it worked out. So I just thought to try and simplify it, if I just drop three hogs on this mortar to take that out, and then drop wall breakers here, they're going to go to that tip, not the mortar compartment. So that's what I said. I'm like, I'm going to draw up my queen. A giant there to pop these Teslas and take some aggro. So if, just so they don't screw up the wall breakers. Three go, um, sorry, hogs on the mortar. They're going to take out the mortar, jump in, get the lure. And at the same time, allow me to wall break that wall. So nice and easy. Uh, I said it a hundred times in my head. Queen, giants, hogs, wait for the mortar to die and wall break. Now, what do I do? I go queen, giant, hogs, wall breakers. <laughs> of course they go right to the mortar compartment screws everything up anyhow <laughs> so that sucks so life's like you know what screw this screw this 12 o'clock weirdness compartment and trying to wall break that let's just go on this nice flat side and he's going to bring in his queen charge in here and just walk right into this compartment basically get the scene value doesn't get this section at first but she ends up going down doing some work down there waiting till the valks get down there to do work and then goes back up and it works perfectly so let's just check this out times two that <coughs> excuse me so there goes that queen 
Just got to work through that high hit point stuff. But once she does, is going to get good good value out of this. Ingo the Wall Breakers, open up that wall. As minions getting buildings all over the base as well at the same time. Really nice job with that. In she goes. Going to target the Expo and then the Air Defense. Or Air Defense and the Expo, my bad. Down goes the Expo. And then she's going to start to wander down. And once she does, she's going to pull out the CC troops. Nice and easy. Let's just poison those. And there they are. Does have to use the ability here. Does have, doesn't have another rage that he wants to use on, on her right away. So, um, ops for the ability. Hits it up. Down go the CC troops. And basically, her job's done now. She's going to continue to get value. She's in no real danger of um, dying. Because, you know, she's not going to get targeted by more than one or two point defense at a time from this point on. So, good to go. Cold Blood and Golem's in from 3 o'clock. Going to go ahead and just create that funnel. The wizard's got to get that lab down, but it goes down just in time. And in comes a CC. Wallbreaker's out ahead of the ahead of the Valks, letting everything in. Drops the Valks he brought with him. In goes the king. Everything's going to move on in. And now as this moving in, he drops these three hogs right there. I thought that was absolutely perfect. Um, we all kind of did this in all of our attacks just because everything's tanking. You get a wizard tower and an expo for three hogs. So that's just a fantastic trade. So everything's going to move in. Valk's under the heel now. Jump spell down. Everything's about to get sucked in onto this defensive queen. Starts to drop reinforcement hogs, kind of all sprinkling around this 6 o'clock sort of horseshoe. In they go. Down go all those archer towers. And once that stuff's down, there's just trash and this top section to worry about. But you're going to see this queen like I was talking about. Took a wild burst through that wall. Kind of just working on some trash down here. She ends up taking out this and... Starts to work on this wall for a second, but as soon as this gold mine goes down, very smart job dropping that wizard. She is going to reroute right back up. And unfortunately, he loses the hogs there to the bombs, but no big deal because the queen is now in there with the Valk doing a little bit of tanking for her. Didn't, she didn't even need it, but she's going to step up and start taking care of all this. She's in no threat whatsoever. Down goes the wizard tower. In comes the reinforcement hogs. Might have been like one more second patient on that, but doesn't matter. In they go, down go the wizard tower, down goes the uh, the mortar. Beautiful job. Definitely going to be a tree in the bag for life. Good adjustments, my friends. Nice cleanup. Mm. All right, one more to show you here. <clears throat> so it was only 10 versus 10 of the war. Uh... And just goes crazy bowler style here. So going to go ahead, drop the queen down here with these healers. Just going to get a huge funnel created on this side. For these bowler attacks, guys, yeah, they are very face roll, meaning roll your face over the keyboard. <laughs> but if you don't have your funnel created, it's not going to go well for you. So um, the goal there was to get that arch tower as well, I believe. It didn't happen. So that is a danger to your bowler attacks. And in fact, watch this. A few of them do go this way. Now... All these bowlers in the core are just going to rape. I mean, they absolutely just destroy through this base in the core. And there's no question about that. That's just the way they are right now in the game. Under those rages, if there's no DGBs, they are just going to rip through all this stuff. But these three bowlers on the outside are the absolute key to all of this. Because they they basically started the cleanup process from 3 o'clock here. Um Zerd smartly drops a couple balloons to help protect them. He does lose a bowler or two here, I think. But the loon gets over there just in time, takes down the cannon, keep them alive, has three, four more balloons, actually. He just drops one now on that mortar over there because the, there's a queen and a bowler, and they, they kind of take a... Like, once the core goes down, the queen and a few bowlers go up, and these bowlers just kind of walk around freely down on the bottom. So it works out perfectly because you know the time probably was a bit of an issue uh, at the end of this raid, but... It, if it weren't for these bowlers, I guarantee it would uh, that walked. It, I guarantee it would not have been a three star. So uh, again, boom, three balloons real quick. Maybe a little bit sooner than that, you would have saved the other bowler, but it doesn't matter. No big deal. Take down the arch tower. Take down the wizard tower. Gonna move right on over. Nothing really there to stop those balloons whatsoever. Gonna get on over that cannon. Take it out. Down it goes. Bowlers did their job. They're still cleaning up at the six o'clock. Is that? Bowler from the beginning that walk, you are still alive. I love it. <laughs> it's tree in the bag for Zerds. Nice job, buddy. Oops, why did I do that? <laughs> it's late. 
I'm not gonna lie, and there's no way I'm gonna edit that because this video is screwed up once already. And sorry, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, Power Coc, uh, love you guys over there. Uh, really, really uh, fun war. Thank you very much. I know, I know you you guys absolutely were on a on a bad day because um, I've seen you guys put up some crazy scores, and I know the capability of that of your clan. So I'm sure you will get your opportunity in round two. But for now. Uh, appreciate it. Um, always a pleasure. Uh, I guess that's the first time we've ever matched up, uh, which is awesome. We did match up in Invicta, but not in 2.0, so this was our first ever. I'm sure you'll be looking forward to round two very, very soon. 2.0, fantastic job. Just super awesome. See those 10s cleared. See the 2s all the way down on the 11s, and uh, obviously the 9s cleaned up. So beautiful. Love it. Very late. Calling it a night. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help it beg that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.